Hey everybody, welcome to today's masterclass, how to get out of your own way and play a much bigger game. Let's get going, we've got a lot to cover. Okay, confession time. I am a gifted dyslexic. If you follow me, you um, know that. Now this presentation is gonna be a bit of death by PowerPoint. So it's probably best just to have it playing in the background and make sure you have a pen and paper so you can make some notes as you are going along. But if you have any questions, you can reach out to me at consciouscoachingandmentoring at gmail.com. So if you're one of those people who gets very irritated when people don't spell correctly, just acknowledge what's happening for yourself and just let it go. Let me ask you, are you working incredibly hard, but not where you want to be, and you feel like you are going around in circles? Does it seem that no matter what you try, you're still getting the same results day in and day out, and you haven't been able to move the needle in the way that you want to? You often feel overwhelmed, disillusioned, and stuck in the wax of the business. Now, what I mean by the wax of the business, it's when the business doesn't have any momentum, things seem incredibly hard, and you're not getting the traction you need. As a solopreneur, you always want to be burning bright in the flame of the candle not stuck in the wax because being in the wax is really hard work when you're burning bright you are charismatic people are drawn to you so you always want to be in the flame of the candle do you find that you get caught up in having too many ideas and often resist acting through fear of failure or you keep implementing the same activities, but you know you should be doing something different, but you can't quite put your finger on it. But what should you be doing is the question. Would you like to be able to quickly put your finger on what is really keeping you stuck? Have a way to get into momentum fast and take the right action to move you forward and to create a different outcome. If that's you, great keep listening, you are in the right place. Okay, so the reason why I'm here today is because I see way too many women who are peddling incredibly hard, fast, but nowhere near where they want the business to be. Because what's happening is they're getting in their own way. Now this can show up in lots of different ways. But one thing is for sure, is that no matter what the situation is, the outcome is always the same. Now, because we only have limited time, I've got a lot to cover. I'm going to quickly walk you free through the unique process I've created. I will also share with you how we can take this further together. Now, I have always loved being self employed and have I love the fact that you have the freedom to manage your time decide when you're going to be working with clients how you're going to manage the day-to-day -day running of the business but the truth is it wasn't always that way I was stuck in my story I found it impossible to get out of my own way I just didn't know there was a different way, to be honest. Even though people were telling me that I had a choice, I didn't understand on an emotional level that I actually had a choice of being able to get out of my own way. I did not realize that my thoughts were in fact creating my reality. Yep, and I discovered this when I was 50. So it's taken me an awful long time to realize. 
I was so stuck in my thinking that it completely sabotaged the success of my business. My business, basically what happened was, is it stayed at the same income level for eight years until I hit the breaking point, ended up with depression and severe anxiety. It wasn't until I started to work with a mindset coach, then a money mindset coach and a psychiatrist, did I really start to understand the power I had that was locked away in my mind. I want to give you a little bit of context here to set the scene. So I was taken into care at about one, one and a half years old. The first home I went into, I was drugged, neglected, locked in a cupboard for long periods of time, moved into another children's home, had counter, countless foster placements, adopted, abused, adopted, left care when I was 15 and a half, beaten, raped, again and again. The story goes on and on and on. Experienced ongoing workplace disability discrimination and bullying until I decided that enough was enough and I became self-employed. Now, I'm not sharing that story with you, even though it is shocking. I'm just sharing it, not to shock you, but to demonstrate the different layers of trauma, the different layers of conditioning that I've experienced over the years. And to be honest, to be fair, this is a normal story for somebody who has experienced institutionalized care for long periods of time. It's not a unique story with me. I've worked with so many young people who have had very, very, very similar stories. I just wanted to share it to highlight the many different layers of negative experience that layer on top of one another. So basically as a consequence of that is I lost my voice, I had very little confidence, my self-esteem was pretty much in the gutter. I did not like to speak to people, I had a real attitude, a chip on my shoulder. I was really frightened of people, so much so that I surrounded myself with an emotional brick wall. Now, two, what I'm not also saying is that you don't need all the, these negative experiences to be stuck. This is basically just a demonstration of all the layers of layers that can go on top of one another, that contra can contribute to someone's lack of self-esteem and losing their voice. I'll get into this a little bit later on, but I work with so many women who are very reluctant to really step into and own their voice. And that's because all the different layers that they've experienced over the years. But they don't have to be traumatic experiences. This is just about conditioning. These experiences carried through into my business, hence the reason why I got so stuck. I I'm a very, very different person to who I was eight years ago. I'm pleased to say I've worked incredibly hard to completely change my personality. I've had to work really hard at it, not just clearing the negative beliefs, the trauma, to help me to create a new reality. I've had to really reshape and question my thoughts on a daily basis basis. So why should you listen to me apart from the fact that I have a crazy traumatic personal story? Here's what I would say is that your business, your personal story, how I work isn't just about the strategy. I'm really interested in the story and the strategy because to me that's where the success comes. I've worked with so many people who have the strategy but they're so disconnected from who they are and this is what happened to myself, they're so disconnected from who they are, how they want to show up in the world that that is ultimately sabotaging their success. 
So your business success isn't just about the strategy to me. I'm also a business coach, also money breakthrough coach, personal performance coach, professional online speaker, business growth strategist, one-to-one -one expert, author, and service provider, and my clients know me for having their backs. So I'm a qualified coach, have been working in the transformational and coaching space since 1990. Oh my God. <laughs> and I've been in the digital marketing space for the last 10 years. I've helped my clients grow conscious, profitable, impactful businesses all around the world. And I really specialize in working with people one-to-one -one and in small group immersions. So that's where my area of expertise is focused. And that's for coaches, authors, speakers, and experts from business, personal, performance, life, spiritual, coaches, doctors, therapists, counselors. So basically anybody who is in the transformational space who wants to co-create, to create extraordinary, extraordinary personal and business results. I've done it this time and time again with my clients. I've had them move from a place of surviving where they're at, then moving them in and breaking through from what's happening into running a thriving business. I've used the same business growth strategies to create impactful businesses all around the world. And I feel incredibly lucky to have finally figured out how to master my mindset to be able to stay out of my own way. I've also been featured in dozens of articles, podcasts, summits around the globe. So if you are stuck in the wax of your business, then it's a clear sign that you need to get out of your own way. You may not necessarily at this point know what that is. You might have some idea, but you may not be crystal clear on what's getting on in your own way and how to navigate past that. So this is where people really, really get stuck. If what you're doing feels heavy, a drag, it sucks the life force out of you in a way and takes you out of flow, then it is honestly time to change the record. But hang on, here is absolutely what I'm absolutely 110% not saying. This does not mean that you need to go and buy a new course on marketing, sales, or even get stuck into another project. The truth is this can often be a way of sophisticatedly hiding and not addressing and looking at or discovering what it is that you need to clear to be able to free your mind up to be able to take you to the next level or next level. Free your mind to be able to see things from a fresh perspective. What often happens is for some bizarre reason, and I don't know if this has happened to you, is rather than slowing down and stopping and making a conscious decision to take a deeper look at what is going on, what often happens is, is that we start to speed up. We start to push to the side uh, intuition. We start to bury and focus in on the wrong things. Now, I haven't gone into this much here, but there is definitely something playing out, especially now in terms of businesses that are in a place of survival. And what happens when you're coming from a place of survival in the business, the brain is looking for ways to try and figure out what it is that you need to sort out. And what that can do is it can push you into, it can push you completely in the wrong direction because you're coming from a place of fight or flight rather than having a look at the situation and discovering consciously what's motivating you to speed up. I remember clearly pushing myself harder and harder to try and figure out why I felt so stuck. Why what I was doing was not working. And I would, if I'm honest, emotionally beat myself 
up and keep myself in a repeated loop of negative thinking, of negative behavior, doing the same things. And I was really keeping myself as a victim, living in the past and nowhere near where I wanted to be. I was just unable to get out of my own way because I was focusing in on the wrong things. Very little of anything is going to change until you develop the skills to get out of your own way. So I was speeding up, I was going faster, I was doing more things, I was trying new things. What the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox has shown me in terms of my own personal journey is that I had a fear of success because being successful means that you are going to be seen by more people. Now, given my personal history, I had a deep-rooted fear around really, honestly, being seen. So going through these exercises, going through these processes has really shown me that it's now time for me to step forward. If I hadn't been doing these exercises, I never would have I never would have discovered that. I'd still be stuck in this endless loop of playing the victim of trying to figure out what was going on. Now, let's be fair here to me and to you, is that we don't know what we don't know. And as if, if we don't have the tools to discover these things and learn these things for ourselves, because it, let's face it, it doesn't matter what people tell us, is that we're not going to get any movement we're not going to we're just going to keep on doing what we've been doing instinctively behaviorally on repeat because of all of those different layers that we've had over the years and we know our brain is 95 percent subconscious and the reason as to why we do things so we've got to start looking at things more consciously, looking at our daily habits, looking at how we're dealing with certain situations differently consciously. And this is exactly what the Conscious Coaching Reflective Toolbox will help you do. So here's what I have discovered. What I figured out is that there is a quick and easy way to figure out exactly what is getting in your way, no matter where you are starting from. Plus, I've also discovered a way to get into momentum, take the right action and break free of sabotaging behavior to empower you to create a healthier and more rewarding, loving, compassionate relationship with self and the world around you. I'm pretty sure there should be some full stops in there because I feel like I'm gasping for air now. <laughs> So I'm going to quickly whiz through this and then I'm going to go into a little more detail on the Conscious Coaching Reflective Journal ritual. So let's whiz through this part. So it starts with creating a Conscious Coaching Unique Roadmap, empowering you to get out of your own way, consciously create a new path to success, leading you to a happier, more fulfilling business and life. Of course, like anything, it's about recognizing the behaviors and the actions that are not currently serving you in the here and now. The things you do on repeat that are taking you completely in the wrong direction. Now you will have an idea of what some of these things are. Like anything in life, we have to have a direction. We're heading towards what we are doing. Here is moving you away from what you don't want more of to ensure we do not keep you in a space of getting exactly the same results. So this is a very conscious piece of work, creating this unique roadmap for yourself. I just wanna make sure that you're not stuck in a loop and if you are stuck in a loop it's finding a way to work and discover what that loop is so over time what happens is you start to bring the unconscious into the conscious you start to move in a different direction because you become in tune with what is not working more quickly 
and are able to get out of your way faster. So once you have the direction you're headed in pinned down, then we move on to the conscious coaching reflect, reflective journaling ritual. This is where the magic happens. You'll be able to quickly identify blind spots, limiting beliefs, and what is really holding you back from the success you desire. You can find the perfect solution to get you into momentum and heading in the right direction. You cannot change what you are not aware of, right? You have to absolutely need to be aware of what it is that you want to change. Now, here's the thing. You might think you are aware of what is getting in your way, but are you really? Have you really dug deep enough? It reminds me of the story that I was just telling you about in terms of it, it took me a long time to realize that I was fearful of success. And I only became, I only had that realization because I discovered the loop was keeping me as a victim. As soon as I traced that back and found out where that was coming from, I understood what was going on. But until that point, I actually thought it was something else that was sabotaging my success. And it wasn't. It was what was underneath that, what was playing out. Quite an eye opener. It could be that you haven't developed the skills and an understanding to be able to move beyond what you know to be true. Now, that was definitely my case. You might have the skills, but you're just not implementing what you know you need to do. My intuition tells me that it's likely to be because you haven't got to the heart of what the matter really is that's playing out. So that's naturally become a barrier. What's happened is the door has closed. So when you combine the conscious coaching reflective journaling ritual with your roadmap, what we do then is we start to create another layer which is about pattern interrupters. And this is really about organizing your thoughts, worries and challenges so they don't interfere with the ongoing success and growth of your business. Now the truth is, and you may not realize that you're doing this because again this is a conscious piece of work is that we will often wind ourselves up without even realizing it during the day you know you've got trillions of thoughts going on in your mind during the day you've got all of these subconscious patterns playing out in the background that are interfering with the success that you want to achieve so this is really about becoming even more consciously aware about what is going on? What is it that you're thinking? So when you start to become more conscious of your behaviors and your thoughts, your brain naturally is going to want to try and keep you safe. It is going to act up a little bit. This is perfectly natural. Your brain is just working to, as I said, keep you safe. So it's gonna move you potentially into a place of experiencing discomfort, which is what we want because that is where you're going to get the biggest breakthroughs. It's where you're going to have the most growth. Now, if you are experiencing, you know, severe anxiety, it, you feel like it's really pushing you over the edge, that's fine. There will always be people I can recommend you to that you can have a chat with or communities that you can join, that you can have a chat with. It just means that you, there's something that you need to work on that is, is keeping you stuck. The fear has, or it's taken over, it's become too much. That's absolutely fine. It's perfectly, perfectly normal. That is the extreme case scenario. I've never had that with a client, but I've had it with myself personally. Um, so I know I can um, recommend the people it is that would help you if you got stuck like that. But I think it is very, unli very unlikely because the brain is only going to show you, the mind is only going to show you what it's prepared to work on now, in the here and now. Like most things in life, this is going to be managed. Your mindset is going to be, need to be managed and to help you 
navigate some of that drama that's going to be getting in the way, has got in the way. I'm going to help you create your own pattern interrupters that are unique to you. So if you want the success you desire and a more fulfilling life, then you have to be able to take the responsibility for managing your thoughts. This is a daily practice. Nothing will change if you're not able to take responsibility for managing your own thoughts. There is nobody else that can do this. This is 100% down to you. What I can do is show you the skills to help you to be able to navigate what's going on, the new direction it is that you want to take yourself in. Okay, so there are five steps that is involved in the Conscious Coaching Reflective Journal and Ritual. So I'm going to go a little bit more into depth into what they are. I'm not going to go into the pattern interrupters and I'm not going to go into your unique Conscious Coaching Roadmap. But what I will do is touch on the different cornerstones here because they're really, really important. So we start with inflow. What do you enjoy? What creates great energy? What makes you happy? So we always start positively. We then move into out of flow. What is happening during the day? That means that you are completely out of flow. It's draining your energy. You absolutely hate doing it. It's what really makes you unhappy. Next, we've got get out of your own way. So this is acknowledging some of the negative self-talk that's playing out. What absolutely has to change? What do you want to change? And the third is what is sabotaging your success? So these questions will depend on whatever it is that you're, um, I can't remember the words, navigating, that's it. Navigating, whatever's coming up for you. Best foot forward, what can you do today? How can you meet yourself halfway? What do you need to let go of? And the last step is about acknowledging what you have achieved throughout the day. So achieving isn't about, you know, I've just finished a landing page. It's all the little bits that make up that journey that are as a success in their own right. The acknowledgement is incredibly important because it's about the here and now it's about making a conscious acknowledgement rather than waiting to the end of a project and then celebrating. So these four steps, five steps, are what underpin the conscious coaching reflective journaling ritual. And what starts to happen is that you start to clear patterns start to emerge of where you're where you're really enjoying yourself and what it is that you really are out of alignment with. And you're, you may start off thinking, oh God, I can't find anything. Oh, I, you know, I always, always ask people to write down three things. You may not be able to find anything, but as you keep going, you'll have some days where you're like, oh my God, you're all over it. You know, you, you could write 10 things. As you move slowly through doing this exercise every day, you're going to start to see very clear patterns of what's playing out for you, which is fantastic because that means then you can take responsibility for making some changes. And when you combine that with the new direction you want to head in, it is incredibly powerful. Because if you're keeping yourself in a loop, if you're keeping yourself stuck doing the same things, you only have yourself to blame, nobody else. However, this is the trickiness of the mind. You have to be able to have the ability to explore and learn and dig underneath what really is holding you back. And the conscious coaching reflective toolbox will help you do exactly that. 
So the Conscious the Coaching Reflective Toolbox is not an online course. It's not a group program. It's not even a one-to-one -one immersion with me. It's a unique reflective practice you can easily and quickly implement to get out of your own way, live a more connected, soulful, happy and fulfilling life and business. Now, it is absolutely not for you if you are not motivated to really help your clients achieve amazing results. It's absolutely not for you if you don't want to live a more fulfilling and prosperous life. It's absolutely not for you if you want to keep achieving the same results day in, day out, in your personal or business life. It's absolutely 110% not for you if you don't believe that you have personal responsibility or power to create a new reality for yourself. And you're not motivated or committed or even driven to make a positive impact in the world doing what it is you love. This has been created for women who are highly motivated to really dig deep and take a conscious look at what's been holding them back. Because if they've been doing courses, implementing strategies, try this, try that, there is something else that is playing out that is stopping, that is sabotaging their success. And it's something that could be very easily sorted out. It's a bit like a domino effect. You discover one thing, and it's, it can be absolutely life-changing. And then you discover the next thing underneath that. So consciously, within this process, it will only be revealed to you the first step. And then as you keep walking, working at it, you'll find the next step. Until, well, it's like peeling an onion, isn't it? You're just peeling the layers back of those experiences over the years so here's just a taste of what's going to be included in your conscious coaching reflective toolbox you're going to get access to your conscious coaching unique roadmap which is going to empower you to get out of your own way consciously creating a new path to success leading you to a more fulfilling business and life now what i need to say here is is this is not about setting goals I'm not a goals person. Goals actually really rub me up the wrong way. By the time I've created a goal, I've already done it. <laughs> this isn't about creating goals. This is about creating a conscious roadmap that is much more energetically aligned. It's about creating experiences rather than coming at it from a process. It's about stepping into experiencing, experiencing the energy of the things that you enjoy more. You're also going to get access to the Conscious Coaching Reflective Journaling Ritual so you can quickly identify blind spots, limiting beliefs, what's really holding you back and find the perfect solution to get you into momentum and instantly moving forward. So the three most powerful things that sit together, the third one is the pattern interrupter. So you can organize your thoughts, worries and challenges so they don't interfere with the ongoing success and growth of your business. So that's really to help you manage your mindset when you're stepping into a bit of resistance, when things are feeling a little bit stressful and a little bit uncomfortable, this is to help you navigate those thoughts and to create different thought patterns, different ways of thinking. You're also going to get access to business growth, personal self-reflection journaling questions. And this is really to stretch and support and nurture you in running a more conscious consciously aligned and authentic business. Now, as I said, this is not a online course. It is not a group coaching program. What it is, it is a daily ritual that you will implement for five days a week. Five days a week, my dyslexic head's 
can't figure it out, five days a week for four weeks. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a group orientation call. So you can ask questions, get feedback, discover the best way to embrace your new business and life changing ritual. So what you're going to do is you're going to get all of the material on the 11th of January, possibly before, depending on a few things. And then what we're going to, you'll have time to look through the material. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a group orientation call where you can ask questions, get feedback and discover the best way to implement your new ritual. You're also going to get four weeks, 24 seven support in case things get a little bit tricky. You're not sure about something to help you stay in momentum that is guaranteed. You're also going to have four accountability personalized weekly check ins. So I'm going to be, sending you a document that you can use your journal that you can pull out the themes what's been shown to you that needs some attention once a week for four weeks so i will be personally checking in with you What's really important for me is that i am absolutely there for you that i have your back that I'm holding you accountable throughout this process. The accountability is really, really important because we all know it's really easy to fall off the wagon. We have a busy day, we have a crap day, can't be bothered, whatever, something comes up. This is really just to keep you on track. Because otherwise what happens is, with a lot of online courses, is that people buy it and they never do it. Okay, so the investment for the pre-launch, so at the moment, it's being created, it's already selling, so the release date is gonna be the 11th of the first, 21. Oh, I wish that had been 11 at the end. Would have, would have been a much, much smarter, smarter number, but it's almost there, 11, 1, 21. <laughs> yeah, so, um, the total value after the 11th of the first 21 is going to be 297 pounds now as we are in the soft pre-launch you can get your hands on it for 37 pounds only you would just need to use the code save 260 and then it will deduct the 260 away from the 297 which brings it down to 37 pounds but that's only going to be available until the 11th of the first 21. There are so many benefits. I'm not going to run through this word for word. All this information is on the website so you can read through it in your own time but you will absolutely be able to make better business decisions. You will absolutely progress faster in business and life you'll also be able to turn up the color in your business so you become more vibrant as you start to clear some of the things that have been playing out for you absolutely more resilient you open your business up to new opportunities new collaborations new potential you will also enjoy healthier better relationships with your clients, absolutely improve mental and emotional health and improving memory as well. As I said, the benefits are really quite incredible. And these are the benefits I would say that are on the surface. These are what I say are the surface benefits. There are much deeper benefits that sit underneath all of these surface level but these are the measurable ones okay so will the conscious coaching reflective toolbox help me grow my business a hundred percent yes it is designed to help you absolutely get out of your own way and take the business to the next level you have to be able to get out of your own lay own way whenever you are stuck in the wax of the business or you are looking to, I don't like the word scale, but you're looking to maybe increase your fees, create some 
new packages, you want to become more visible, absolutely, 100% yes, it's gonna help you grow the business. How much time will you need? Well, the truth is, some people are really into journaling and some people aren't, but you will need at least five minutes a day. So I recommend that you have initially 30 minutes to map out your conscious coaching unique roadmap, and then spend just 10, five to 10 minutes a day on your reflection, reflective journaling ritual. Step three, when you need to, and you want to go a bit deeper on an issue to see what's really going on. You're going to need a little bit more time to do that. Some people will do it quicker than others. And implementing step four is implementing your pattern interrupters during the day when needed. At the beginning, you're going to be doing that quite a bit. But they are not massive exercises that are going to take you three hours. These are quick things that you can implement. They are sharp, fast, but you have to consciously make a decision to do them. Is the business just for business coaches? Is, sorry, <laughs> it's just for business coaches? No, absolutely not. It is for anybody who's finding, I was thinking about this when I was creating it, it is for anybody who is creating or working with their clients to get transformation because it's good. I, I'm a big believer in that if you haven't cleared what's going on for you, it's going to show up in your clients. They're going to mirror it back for you. So anybody who's working in the transformational space, it is going to help you really help your clients get even more extraordinary results than they were before. For people who are stuck in the wax of their business, so they're not getting the momentum it is that they desire. It's really for people who are in the transformational space. People who are also recognizing that they are stuck, they're not getting any momentum and they're not sure why that is. But my speciality is working with people, you know, coaches, doctors, trainers, speakers in that transformational bubble. But if you were stuck, you could implement these strategies easily and find out what the patterns are and navigate them. It doesn't matter what the issue is for you. I have designed this for exactly where you are at. For We would call this a person-centered piece of work. It is designed for... So in the coaching world, in the counseling world, in the therapeutic space, this is a person-centered piece of work. Because what we're doing is we are dealing with or we're addressing the issues that, that are coming up for us in the here and now. So the issues are gonna be different for everybody, even though they're gonna be common themes because we are working in the same bubble. You know, we have businesses, so that's something that we have in common with one another. So there's going to be some common themes that play out here, but it's really designed to meet you where you are at. So overwhelmed, confused, lost your mojo, business, business just isn't growing as fast as you want it to, fear, I don't want to, I cannot, you know, imposter, imposter, imposter syndrome, Stress, anxiety, depression, moving from a place of survival to thriving. Relationship with self, self-belief, confidence, whether that um, trauma, whether that is sexual, neglect, the feelings of not being good enough, feeling blocked but not sure why, you're having issues around visibility, it terrifies you so you just don't do it or you keep putting it off, you're hiding in plain sight, you've got so much negative self-talk, you've experienced discrimination. Okay, I'm not gonna go on and on and on and on. <laughs> but it's designed for where you are at and all of these issues have been explored and covered, and covered in this process by myself. <laughs> I've worked with these other issues 
with my clients, work through these issues with my clients. So it's designed, designed for exactly where you are at in your self-discovery journey, which is fantastic. So you can get hold of the bundle, I guess you could call it, for £37. Remember, it's going to increase. You can get hold of it at the Conscious Coaching and Mentoring.com website. Now, the secret source to business success is having the ability to get out of your own way and absolutely stay out of your own way. And to do that, you have to be able to look at what's going on consciously. You have to be able to initially deal with what it is that you're presented with, what it is that is coming up for you now in the here and now. Once you've started to work with that and you've had a little bit of a breathing space, the next thing is going to come up. So you can work around that and you can clear out whatever that is. Now, you can either work on that by yourself. You can get help once you recognize what that is from someone who you feel is more qualified. But the important thing here is to pinpoint and recognize what exactly is going on. Now, myself and some of my clients have had a bit of anxiety around, oh my God, what happens if something comes up that is worse than, that, is worse than what I already know? Now, in each case, it has been a case of that has been fear. That has been some of those past experiences, the brain just trying to keep you safe. It's only going to show you what it is that you need to take some action on to clear, what it is that you are ready to address. So please don't think that by taking on an exercise like this, a daily ritual like a daily ritual like this, that something might be discovered that you didn't know about yourself that is going to, you know, tip you over the edge. You are in a safe space. And remember what I said, I absolutely 110% have your back and I have designed this in a way to give you a lot of support and accountability on this self-discovery journey.